So guys, while you're walking around this RVX show looking at all these beautiful units, a few of them stand out. The Black Series Caravans definitely stand out. They have several of them here. They have a very aggressive, modern, edgy approach to them. Very European in execution as well. I am here with Jim Buck. He is with Black Series Caravans. Jim, can you take a moment and kind of explain to my subscribers what this caravan series is all about? Absolutely. This obviously is about overland. Being off-road, being off-grid, um, the design actually was created in Australia with the idea of being in the outback, being off-grid for weeks at a time. And so that's why they have such this aggressive nature. Um, we got rock guards, we got diamond plate, we got aluminum siding composite. Um, and then we also have, which I like to point out first because it's the best thing on there, is the independent suspension. So if we want to come over here, I'll show you the independent suspension underneath this thing. Take a look at it. It goes along with the heavy duty tires. We don't have just standard truck tires or even your standard trailer tires. We got heavy duty off-road tires. We got the bead locks on them so that we were not rolling tires while you're off-road with this massive trailer. And really, when I say massive, I don't mean too massive. It actually rolls in about 6,200 pounds of dry weight. Wow, that's not so, bad. Yeah, so you're, and it actually has a capacity for 10,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. So if you look down underneath here a little bit, if you get down underneath and look, and so we have our heavy duty swinging A-frames under here for our suspension. And we have dual shocks on each side, so that way while you're in there, you're off-road, while you're in there off-road, um, you're really not gonna burn out your shocks from having a single shock. That dual shock's gonna give you that rigidity, a little bit better ride, and it's gonna have those last a whole lot longer. And so, if you also look underneath here, you got your two poly tanks, um, you got your poly, your gray and your black tank together, um, and those hold 26 gallons. Those are each 26 gallons. And then you have your single discharge that's raised up nice and high. If you look at most trailers, they got their, their dump that's hanging way low. You're going to rip them off just on general road wear alone. So as we come up, the light to use, we use a lot of LEDs. LEDs everywhere. We got LED floodlights, LED lights everywhere. So we're minimizing the amount of uh, electricity that we're utilizing. Like I said, on the siding right here, we have aluminum diamond plate with a European cut to it. And then up here, the upper half of the body is a composite. It's aluminum composite. Um, and as you come along, you have plugs outside. You have, you know, like your general plugs for uh, like your lighter type plugs, a regular plug. Um, as you come along here, one of the really cool features too, um, you have a lot of people that travel, they take their dogs with them. So, you know, you have your regular screen on here, dog might tear through the screen. Well, if you look at our screen, we get a nice heavy duty aluminum screen from the top to the bottom, and it's a rigid screen. Mm -hmm. It's not that cheap aluminum stuff that's gonna come apart, which you know you see on a lot of trailers. So as we're also looking outside, if we go this way too, um, we also have our outside kitchen. Uh, um, stainless steel with a huge prep area. Um, you know, so if you're like a fisherman, someone likes to fish, get some fish out here, you got a nice big table, so you'd be cutting that up, and then you have a nice big wash bin right here that goes off into your sink. Um, as well as your outside stove area, your three burner stove. Um, so, you know, you can get that outdoor cooking. You're not inside all the time, you know, stinking up your, mm -hmm. inside your trailer cooking bacon. And there's actually another cabinet right here of storage that goes all the way across right here. So if you opt to not have this, then you have massive storage that goes across, not all the way across, because that's where your water heater is. There's a six gallon mm -hmm. water heater tank that also is in there as well. So if you want, we can step up inside. Yeah. One of the other features I like to look at, I like to, I like the lighting right here. So if, you know, middle of the night, dark time, you got some light on the steps, helps light up, illuminate things, which also is our solar light up here. Um, when you're not near, it's a low light, but there's a motion sensor, so when you get closer, it keeps on with a much mm -hmm. brighter light, so you can see a whole lot better. That's and of course, obviously up here, you get your awning and, and all those kinds of things to protect you. So if you want to step up inside, so as we come back here, come back here. Oh, let me turn the lights back here so you can see. <laughs> so now we're in the shower. We're in the shower. It's <laughs> a great way to start off. So I'm in the shower. I am a big guy. I am not a skinny, small guy. I like to be able to move and wash and do what I got to do. There's a lot of room in the shower. When you compare it to most showers that are in the trailer system out there, 
They're really small and you can barely move. This is one of the bigger showers and I think is one of the cooler features of this trailer as well. And actually, as you turn around here behind you too, we actually have a porcelain sink. It's not plastic. Mm -hmm. um, and then over here, we have a seven gallon capacity washing machine. It's not a dryer, unfortunately, but it is a washing machine. So again, mm -hmm. if you're off, off road, off grid, and you need some clean underwear, <laughs> clean shirts, whatever, you can do a small wash over there. Okay? Absolutely. And then you get your, your, your Dometic fridge. Okay, um, you got storage everywhere, um, and even in here, you have um, a little pull-out pantry for cans and stuff. Now, one of the really cool stuff that we have also too is this is an off-road trailer. This is actually a, a it's a German engineered uh, handle with lock, so you have to push this to get it to open. Oh, so very there's nice. no surprises when you come out. You know, you get after hitting the road and stuff, you open up and all your stuff's dumped out. Um, and so another feature we have with this is we have breakers. No longer, we don't have the fuses mm -hmm. down on the floor, underneath the refrigerator, in the yep. dark, those little fuses. We got breakers. A whole lot more simplified. We have our digital system here to show our water capacity, you know, our different tanks and stuff like that. Um, and that's the thing about our water capacity. There is a 50 gallon general water tank. Mm. So, you know, if you're off, off grid somewhere, you can draw on your 50 gallons of water. You don't have to drink that water though, because there's a triple filter system. So if we get into the cabinet here, there's a triple filter system. So your water will run through that. And there's a 16 gallon hold tank for fresh drinking water. So while you're washing dishes, you're taking your showers, washing your clothes, you're using this handle right here, running your water. When you want to drink a fresh, clean water, you come over here and you flip that and you get your fresh, clean water. That's awesome, man. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, one of the other things too is they like to put double sinks in, in trailers. Um, I know for me, I have a double sink in my trailer. I don't use it for anything uh, except to put that dish rack. Mm -hmm. So they eliminated that and actually give you this little work area. So if you can put your wet stuff up here, put your sponge up here, whatever, and if it, you know, once it gets up here, rather than getting all of your counters, you can wipe it off into your, yeah. into your sink. So it, just little features like that. Um, and then this right here, this is a cover for the sink uh, or for the counter. So this gives you more counter capacity. So if you want to like set up food, hey everyone, dinner's ready, come on in, a prep area, whatever you want to be, but otherwise, you can also lift this up, and then this is your stove top, you lift this up, and then you have a three burner oh, yeah. stove in well, inside as well. And so this way, you know, you're protecting some of the other stoves, they have that metal lid to it, mm -hmm. and then you're still cutting and doing stuff on that, messing up that lid, and that's why it's nice having this extra yeah. lid right here. Now one of the other features, which is kind of cool, and I'll, I'll actually separate this right here. So most of the windows, or all the windows, they're they're free flowing, they're, mm -hmm. they're open. Um, it's like a European design window. Um, and so this is free open, which actually allows better airflow oh, through yeah. the trailer. You can see that. Um, but if you're in an area, you got bugs bugging you, mosquitoes, whatever. And like I, you know, I, I just undid, you have the screens that connect together. So you have a regular screen to allow airflow, or you got the screen to block the sun. Yeah or block whatever, or privacy screen, whatever it is. And so all the windows have that, which is a really kind of cool feature. Um, and then there's obviously a TV, you kind of come over here. We got our TV, um, our microwave. Um, and then also over here, if you flip around, um, we have our, our CD player. I'm not, I don't believe it's a DVD player though. Um, it doesn't say DVD and I haven't figured that part yeah. out. But as part of the system, it rings in. Um, there are options for DVD players, I believe. Um, one of the things I, I had read. Um, some of the other features, like the no slam drawer, so when you pull it up, you, you, when you shut it, it grabs it, pulls mm -hmm. it closed. Um, and then over here in the dinette, the dinette area, because of, again, being the off-road system, the off-road trailer, what we're looking for. So up on the roof is uh, two solar panels. So, and they equal 300 watts. Now there is room on the roof for two more panels. Now, in the underneath the bunk here, right here, underneath the bunk, we actually have our batteries. So we have our two deep cycle batteries under here, okay? About a, uh, 100 amp hours. Now there is room and capacity to add at least two more. And some of the options we're looking at is possibly going to lithium ion batteries mm -hmm. and different battery technologies. Um, the company is constantly changing things. We're always looking at things, ways to improve, ways to give better quality for the customer um, and give you better chances, or not better chances, but better opportunities to go off road, go yeah. over land and be out there more. So under that bench um, is the inverter, 2000 watt inverter. 
Um, so uh, again, you have you know, a lot of energy to run your appliances, you know, run your microwave, uh, even your air conditioning. But again, those would create a big draw. And mm -hmm. so just having the two panels and the two batteries would draw very quickly. Now, one of the other options, you don't see a lot of seating in here. So obviously most people resort to sitting here at the bench. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if most people are like me, you sit sideways and you dangle your feet off, which becomes uncomfortable. And you know, so you can watch TV. So one of the really cool features or you know, would it be better if I do this one? Probably. One of the cool features, because most people have storage here, but you can't have storage because you got the battery. So this is like a lazy boy, um, like feature. Yeah, kind of like a little recliner. So you have a recliner version. So that way it extends out. Your legs have something more to rest on. You're not dangling them off the seat anymore in that uncomfortable position. You're your foot mm -hmm. falling asleep. So now you have this right here. Really cool. I mean, yeah, like I said, it's innovative. Yeah, they could have just very easily just put a you know put a leather across and called it good, but they went a little extra mile with it, which is really kind of a cool thing. So it's not a, it's not a seat though. It's not a seat that you will break. Now this table too. This table will actually push down. This creates a bed. So this will sleep one. The queen bed obviously sleeps two. So this sleeps three total. Um, but the bed, the table also will unbolt from the floor. It's bolted to the floor. It's not mm -hmm. going to go anywhere. This can lift up and be taken outside or wherever you need to take it as well. Um, and then one other thing, I'm going to throw it out there, privacy door for the shower, mm -hmm. throw that in there. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, as we come across, they even use this for light. I love this. So you have a big skylight right here that opens up nice and big, but I love how they use even light around here. And that oh, makes yeah. such a huge difference lighting wise having this on. Um, but here, I'll turn this off. But if we also look, we have master switches over here. So here's our master switch. So we hit, everything goes off. Yeah. So we turn that back on. These three right here control, so like for instance, the uh, lights behind you, the uh, puck LED lights, those will shut off. And then the middle one turns off these ones, oops, sorry, not this, these ones. And then it has the strip lights, which I like, it's kind of cool. Yeah, nice it creates like this look. little ambient light, yeah, just, you know, just kind of gentle, easy light, getting ready to go to bed or whatever, or, you know, maybe a little romantic hiking getaway or whatever. Um, and then this switch right here controls the floodlights that are outside. I, I'm not sure if you got video mm -hmm. of the I two did. of those. Yeah, so the, the, the front and, and rear floods and then the side floods, that, that switch will cover. Okay, so on a unit like this, yeah. what would the MSRP range from? MSRP on this unit uh, starts around $60,000. Really? Yeah, 60000 That's 000. actually less than I thought it would be. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty nice. With all the aluminum and the heavy duty. And I didn't even show you the front hitch yet either. But some of the other things I was going to show you real quick mm -hmm. is some of the leather. One of the one of the general, the customers who does with um, uh, materials, he came out here yesterday. And one of the things he pointed out was the stitching, the stitch work. Rather than just, just doing solid, you know, mm -hmm. you know, you know, leather, they did this beautiful stitch work. Oh, yeah. And then I had another a couple that was through here and they pointed out the headboard. You know, it's just instead of just doing just a plain wooden board, they bid this great, you know, headboard looking thing. And one other thing, which I don't know if it's done by design, but I, I think is brilliant. So the thermostat is over here, and in most trailers, the thermostat is on the other end of the trailer. So mm -hmm. on a cold night, you wake up, oh my gosh, it's cold. You got to get out of bed, you got to walk all the way across the trailer. Well, the switch to turn it on is right there next to it. Mm -hmm. So you take your foot, you kick it out from underneath the covers, you flip it on with your foot. Heaters on. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's brilliant. Yeah, I don't know if is. it was done purposely, but that is brilliant, man. I mean, but, it had to have been because yeah, just the placement. <laughs> it had you know? to have been. So let's go outside and I'll grab. I'll, I'll grab the actually the hitch pin and we'll go out look at the front storage and uh, how everything works with the swivel and pivot and all that stuff. Sounds good. All right. So as we're walking forward here towards the front of the trailer, we got these massive bars all along the front and the rear, and these are rock guards. These are to obviously protect the edges of the trailer when you're going off road from tearing anything up with those massive rocks. Now, as we get up here in front, we have two storage cabinets. This storage cabinet right here with a bracket in it is to hold two jerry cans for fuel. So if you're off road, you're gonna need some fuel. You're not gonna have a gas station right around the corner. So you have two jerry cans, space for two jerry cans you can lock in here. And then on the other side over here is your LPG tanks. So you have your two tanks that are plumbed in, and you have all your protected too. All protected, yeah, yeah. You have these nice heavy duty again, aluminum diamond plate door, all the stuff like that, um, and you know nice angles. There's nice angles to everything, so mm -hmm. it helps deflect, deflect rocks, deflect when you're hitting stuff, and all that kind of fun stuff. So, and, and then obviously if you look down here, nice heavy duty beefy frame. Yeah, it is. Um, it's yeah, it's it's uh, galvanized. It's hot dipped galvanized steel. 
um, you know, balloon frame. It goes all the way back. It's a heavy duty frame. Um, they also have your seven pin for plugging in your vehicle. And they also, because of your power for your solar panels, they have an Anderson uh, plug mm -hmm. too for your solar. Now you have your handbrake, you know, which you see here. And now you look, if you look at the front of this thing, obviously you're not going to hook up a ball to this thing. So people go, what the heck is this thing? So what it is, is we have this pin right here, this piece. And so if you can imagine, you have your receiver coming off the back of your car and you have the ball. Unscrew that ball, chuck it. The ball goes away. This bolt goes into the hole where the ball would be. Then once it's plugged in, then you take this part, pull out the pin, and then the pin goes over this. So you can get more side-to-side -side articulation. So this way you, you get your, your dips and valleys. Then once, once that's done, once you're plugged up, this also pivots this way. Mm -hmm. So you get your dips and valleys, and then you get your sideways torque out of it, too. Mm -hmm. So you get your, your twists and turns. So it, it gives you a lot of, of maneuverability with that trailer. And so you wouldn't want the low levels, those typical low mm -hmm. levels of stabilizers, because then you're going to limit yourself on your ability to pivot and twist and all that kind of stuff. This looks like it was almost meant to be trailered behind a Ram Power Wagon. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Oh, absolutely. So there's, there's definitely just a, a lot of really cool features to this. Uh, it, it's rugged, it's tough, it's durable. I mean, you, you push on stuff. Now I realize I'm pushing on the front side, but even you push on the side, you know, you go up to a standard RV or trailer, you push, I mean, it flexes. It, it flexes. There's like no flex here. It, mm -hmm. th this is a solid piece of, you know, aluminum composite and stuff. Yeah. It, you know, I, I mean, even the rigidity of the, the screen door, I mean, somebody really thought about that. So again, a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot of research and development within um, Australia, the outback, getting off road, because that is the purpose for it, getting off road and getting out there in the rough stuff that you wouldn't hit with a, your typical pavement princess trailer. Yeah. So, yeah, well, Jim, absolutely. this is beautiful. I absolutely awesome. love it, man. I appreciate your time. Absolutely. Thanks for giving me such an awesome tour. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate Not it. Not a problem. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.